Okay, I'd like you to set your bowl up on your pad like this using the construction lines we've already talked about throughout the course, uh, getting your ellipse and proportions correct. So here are some numbers you can use to get that proportion uh, correct. So if you want, uh, stop the video now and then we can come back to it when you're ready to go. Okay, in this assignment we're going to be using the vine charcoal to shade this bowl. Uh, the dimensions of the bowl um, you should have already had, sort of just laying it out. Uh, the way we've laid it out with our central axis and you know creating the elliptical uh, shape within the the box so then we're going to take our vine charcoal and we're going to start to do the shading and we'll be using our eraser uh, to remove some of the the lines and stuff as we proceed okay so the vine charcoal is very brittle uh, it's a stick like this and it snaps in half and what we want to do is we actually want to break it into a small piece so we can put it on its side now we can use it this way to draw lines okay um, but when we put it on its side, we can get a much broader area to use. And sometimes you have to just kind of work it a little bit uh, just to make it so that the edges don't go a little too dark. Okay, so I also have this line in the middle. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. Uh, I'm going to leave pretty much all my pencil lines until later. Uh, if you want, you can erase this because you're going to be shading over it. So the first thing I want you to do is just kind of block in the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a simple sort of shading, meaning I'm not going to look at any kind of uh, core shadow necessarily, and just get the general shadow area of the bowl established. And then inside here. Now you notice the shadow inside the bowl is lighter than the shadow outside, but right now, we're just blocking it in. We're just getting the basics of our shading um, established, okay? So that'll be kind of enough for the bowl. We're gonna get the cast shadow happening down here. And then we have the cast shadow coming off the object. Um, and going back here. We're just keeping it all light for now so we can see exactly what we're doing. Don't be afraid to go over the lines. Then we have a stronger cast shadow here on the wall, and that's going to come off about like this. And it's going to be darker, so I'm just going to right now while I'm starting, just go a little bit darker with the vine charcoal. Okay. Okay, now on the outside of the bowl, you notice that the bowl is lighter than the background. So again, you want to come in here and just give yourself a little bit of shading on there. Don't worry about going over lines. That's the nice thing about our eraser is we can actually draw with our eraser. Now we're going to start to smooth out and you want to be very careful with this. Don't get your fingers in there too much. Just very lightly you're taking the dust off the surface and you're just gently pressing it into the paper. We don't want to overdo it. Um, there are oils on your fingers that can leave fingerprints and marks, but we're just lightly getting rid of all the dust that's on the surface, incorporating it into the paper. And then when you get a dirty finger, that's pretty good because if you have a clean finger, it acts as an eraser, but a dirty finger will act much more like a blender. So we can kind of just come in and soften up all of our grays. Some people prefer to use a chamois for this, um, but we're just going to use our finger. Okay, then we're going to come in um, with the edge of the uh, 
charcoal. I'll do it down here uh, in the core shadow so that you can see. And just kind of darken. And just like the pencil, you want to have it on its edge so that you can see. You don't want to be getting too many lines. Just have a broad area. Try and keep the pressure consistent. You could also break this into a smaller piece. Do it that way if you want. And come in and just again soften that up but very very gently don't get too carried away with it and all this back here is going to be in shadow okay so i'm going to do is speed this up and we'll stop it at another point Okay, so now that it's fairly well developed, uh, it's time to start looking at some detailed edges. And one of them is right here. You notice the white rim of the bowl that goes around. Uh, you can see that I've darkened it underneath it, uh, but the top has, has lost its shape. So we're gonna pull that back uh, out using an eraser. So a really useful tool is to take your eraser and just cut it with a razor blade. And it gives you uh, a sharper edge here, but using the small piece here, I can come into the bowl and just start to erase the white that's there. Now, one of the problems is I'm trying not to get my head in the camera here so I can get you know, closer to the picture. So I will flip it over at some point, but let me just... See, I made that line too thick there. So I really do need to lean forward. I'm on a big drawing board with lights and a camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the camera, uh, come back, draw that out with an eraser, and then you'll be able to see it. But then I can also use the eraser for other things like cleaning up the shadow down here. I can come right in, uh, obviously taking these lines out in here. And then if I wanted to, and again, I will, I'll come in here and just kind of pull some of these lights out which are the part of the texture of the bowl okay so i'm gonna stop the video move the camera come back in here and then we'll start it up again